into some health news. Did you know that not all genetic tests are created equal? Well, if you're looking for answers about your health, Dr. Robert Nussbaum is joining us this morning to help us understand why choosing the right test is absolutely essential. Doctor, good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, Natalie. Thank you for having me on your show. Yeah, we're excited to chat too, and let's just first kind of start off broad. What kind of genetic testing are we talking about today that people need to take note of? So, the Envite offers genetic testing in three main areas. One is to help people who have a condition in themselves or their family make a diagnosis and figure out why it's happening. The second is a group of people who don't have a particular condition or family history, but they want to assess their risk, whether they have an increased risk for certain things like heart disease or cancer. And then the third area is genetic testing that helps people with a reproductive planning to make sure that, for example, they're not passing on a, a serious condition to a child who may have a serious childhood illness. You know, when I think of that genetic testing, my mind goes to, of course, that the BRCA gene that you hear people talking about when it comes to cancers. My question, though, a lot of times you think you have to have them done at the doctor's. That's no longer the case, am I right? That is right. What Invite is 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 launching, and the the I think the important change that's occurred is that exactly the same high quality testing that your doctor or your genetics provider, or genetic counselor has been ordering from Invite in the past is now available for people in the in the in the public, general public, to be able to order that test themselves. That's really a big change, and I think it's a it's a really uh, a great step forward. Okay, so what can people do? Because of course I think of sometimes like even getting a prescription sometimes can be challenging. What do people need to do to be able to get a test that could be right for them or their family? First step is they can go to Invite.com, go to our website, and there you can uh, Pick and choose what test you uh, w wish to obtain. We then give you a brief questionnaire, and that allows us to help you figure out what's the right test for you, to make sure that you're not ordering the wrong test and that you're getting the right one. We then connect you to a healthcare provider who will guide you through this process, will make sure that you've uh, ordered the right test, and then at the end, if there's a serious result or some significant result that needs to be explained to you, we have the uh, ability to uh, go through uh, telephone genetic counseling, help you understand, and understand what are the next steps, what are the next things you should do. We're not gonna leave you just hanging with a genetic test result without any information on next steps. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I love that that last step there. I think that's so important. And I'm curious, so it seems like this has been relatively new. It's kind of advanced over the past few years. What is the latest and greatest when it comes to DNA testing that you're seeing? The, the most important thing to remember is that our knowledge about what genetics means uh, has improved tremendously so that we can now provide more information. Second of all, the technology allows us to do sequencing at just a fraction of the cost of what it used to cost so that we can now do very widespread analyses of looking at dozens to hundreds of genes that might contribute to a particular kind of disorder all at the same time at an extremely low cost. And that's really the two drivers is better information and much lower cost. And on that, we got to end. Dr. Nussbaum, thank you so much for this information. We do appreciate your time today. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.